Remember there was a story that highlights just how careful you need to be about what you sign up to. It's this next one. Because you often tell us about contracts that can automatically just roll on if you haven't got around to cancelling them. But the consequences of that aren't normally quite as shocking as they turned out to be for some of the people who got in touch about one particular company. There are several things you need for a successful wedding. A talented photographer. And smile. A beautiful bridal gown. Okay, and I think this one would be just perfect for you. And a gracious host. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and greet our lovely bride and groom. In fact, the 21st century wedding has a whole host of experts on hand to make sure that your wedding day is as spectacular and special as possible. So for businesses keen to win a slice of the wedding action, the key to success is making sure as many people as possible know where they can find you. Dickie Richards is a Toastmaster, and his job is to make sure that the wedding day runs without a hitch. Please raise your glasses. But he knows only too well that in the competitive market of wedding services, standing out from the crowd can be tricky. It's like any business, really. You've got to do some sort of PR or networking, and websites appear to be the in thing. So when Dickie received a phone call from a website called planmywedding.uk.com, run by Essex-based Wedding Directory UK, and not to be confused with other companies of a similar name, he thought it could just provide him with the type of promotion he needed. All Dickie had to do was to pay marginally under £250 to advertise on the site, with the hope that more bookings and more work would come through. Were you happy with what they offered you at the beginning? It sounded very good. Um, £250 for an entry on their website, and I would be covered in Hampshire. What did they say you would get from that, though? Well, they promised me uh, a lot of bookings. In fact, they quoted a guy who was a Toastmaster and said that he was getting three bookings a week. In fact, so convinced was Dickie by the website's potential that when they phoned him a month later and offered him some more advertising, this time in Sussex, he agreed. But despite forking out a total of almost £740 for his ads, they didn't bring in any extra business. I always ask potential clients where they got my name, and none of them have mentioned this particular website, so I've had nothing whatsoever. Dickie resolved to put the whole thing down to experience and thought little more about it. Until that is, his year-long deal with planmywedding.uk.com was about to end. And that's when Dickie claims the company rang him with some devastating news. The bombshell landed this year when I was approached by uh, a guy asking me for £8,000. 8000 from the same company? Plus VAT. Same website? Say. Same website. And but why? Offering you what? Well, this was because I hadn't cancelled, and by not cancelling, I'd agreed to go nationwide. So you must have been shocked at that. I was staggered, and I just told them flat. I said, I haven't got that sort of money. Dickie was told that because he had not given enough notice, he was now committed to another 12 months. The terms and conditions do state that unless you specifically cancel, the contract will roll on. But the extra cost of that is said to be just 20%, nothing like as much as Dickie says he was asked for. But still, over £100 more for the same service he'd had the previous year. And were you worried? Were you frightened by I getting the debt I was very collectors? much intimidated, yeah. After further negotiation, Dickie says that he finally agreed on a price of £1,500. And at the company's request, he went to meet them at a local hotel to pay them face to face something that PlanMyWeddingUK.com disputes. But the agreed time came and went with no sign of them. Dickie says he was left holding £1,500 in cash and completely confused. In fact, the company had got him in such a spin that when they later rang asking for £200 to settle the matter once and for all, Dickie immediately agreed to pay it. I was up to here with it, to be honest, and I just wanted to get them out of my hair. So you were afraid and you yeah. gave in? Yeah. Yeah. And there are other customers of PlanMyWeddingUK.com who have also ended up far from happy. 
Introducing Lavina Best of Viva Bridal. Lavina paid around £500 for a year's advertising on planmywedding.uk.com. With it bringing in no extra work, she didn't want to sign up for another year. But when she told the company that, she too found herself stuck and worried about another 12 months. They contacted me explaining that the contract was up for renewal and he said, you're in a contract, you have to go ahead. Why were you giving in to that? Because I just felt so pressurised. If I didn't sign up at £485 plus fat, it was going to go up to over £700 and he said it is a contract I couldn't get out of because I hadn't given notice. Feeling she was pressurised into paying up, Lavina is trying to claim back the money through her credit card provider. Introducing Simon Mitchell of Photo Enterprise. Simon Mitchell signed up to planmywedding.uk.com after a cold call and has ended up paying around £800. I feel like a fool. If what he had said was true, then I'd be in a great place right now. Sadly, I haven't had one phone call. Now, today I've met three people who feel totally ripped off by what they've experienced. And I have to tell you, I could add many more similar stories to that. In fact, one of the customers on the website was so incensed by his treatment that he decided to email every single customer that advertised on planmyweddinguk.com. Now, out of the 227 emails he said he sent, he got 100 responses. And I have to tell you that each of them had a negative experience to share. And not one of them said they had any leads from advertising on this website. Wedding expert George Watts, otherwise known as the Wedding Fairy, has looked at the company's website and the terms and conditions that have caught people out. So do you think in this case the company's terms and conditions were actually fair and accurate? The automatic renewal, no notifications given, all those points are really problematic for me and I would not touch it. The company behind planmywedding.uk.com, Wedding Directory UK Limited, has now ceased trading and the website is only staying open to honour existing contracts. The company categorically denied most aspects of the complaints we put to them especially Dickie's claim that they demanded thousands of pounds in cash from him. However, they said it has come to their attention that somebody posing as a Plan My Wedding representative has been phoning customers asking for cash. The company insisted that they have never and would never conduct business in this way and urged any customer who is contacted in this way to contact the police. As for other complaints about pushy sales tactics, unfair terms and unexpected charges, Plan My Weddings say no guarantees were ever made for the number of jobs clients might receive, but that Dickie's ad had over 1,000 views and Simon had over 2,000. It insists that all its charges are outlined in the terms and conditions and agreed to by customers and says none of the customers we spoke to were ever charged the full 20% increase on renewal. And it said Lavina was under no pressure to renew her contract which was negotiated over the course of five phone calls, giving her plenty of time to consider what to do. But for those who've told us a very different version of events, it's been a sobering and expensive experience. I feel stupid. Yeah, totally stupid. <laughs> Gutted, angry. I feel stupid. I should have looked at things more closely.